Hey guys, so as you can tell, this is going to be a hair tutorial today. It is inspired by the singer Cassidy Pope. She was the winner of The Voice, for those of you that did not know. And she came on back to the show this season to do a live performance for them. She had her hair in these nice soft curls. And of course, she had these added blonde highlights, which looking at the picture, it looked like she did add extensions like I did today. So if you want to see how to get this look, then keep on watching. The first thing you're going to want to do is take a set of extensions in a blonde shade that suits you best. The ones that I'm using today are from Bellamy. I'll have all the information down below in the description box of the exact pair that I'm wearing. You are going to want to section off the lower part of your hair and apply the first weft, which is going to be a three clip one, and apply it closest to your scalp area. Next, you're going to want to section off the area right above your ears, and you will be applying a four clip weft to this section closest to your scalp. Now you want to focus the next set of extensions on the side of your head and this time we're going to be using a two clip weft. When clipping these in you want to apply it I would say towards the middle of your head closer to the back area. For the front of your hair, you're going to want to apply a one clip weft. This is going to allow us to have that dramatic effect as Cassidy Pope has in the photograph. Repeat the same steps that we did on the other side of your head to this section. And just a little hint for you guys, if you want to go for a more subtle look, then you could go ahead and skip on adding these two and one clip wefts to the front area. We have now inserted all the extensions. You can feel free to leave your hair straight like this or you can continue watching to see how I style it in the curls. As always, before applying any heat to your hair, you're going to want to apply a heat protectant. I like to divide my hair in half to allow me to work on each section and I'll just go ahead and secure one side with a clip. I am going to be taking small to medium sized sections such as this one using my 32 millimeter curling wand and just going all around with my hair. Extensions do take slightly longer than natural hair to curl so I am going to be holding it against the wand for about 30 to 40 seconds depending on the tightness of the curl I'm looking to achieve. And this is what the curl should look like when released. I've curled my hair like this many times so I don't need to use the glove anymore but as you can see my fingers get extremely close to the wand so if you are a beginner I definitely would recommend using one as you can burn yourself if you're not careful.
You definitely want to make sure you get the ends as close to the wand as possible so you can get an even curl. When I get to the front sections of my hair, I really like to get as close to the scalp as possible and I also slightly place the wand facing downward. Now on to side two, I'm just going to repeat the same steps as I did on the other side and quickly fast forward through the process. Now taking your favorite hairspray, preferably one with not so strong of a hold, go ahead and spray the entire head. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll talk to you next time. Bye!